Once upon a time, Stumble, the captain of the Greenstall Island, set sail on the North Sea. As he sailed through the waves, he stumbled upon Santa's island. With a twinkle in his eye, Santa asked the clumsy captain for a bit of favor. Captain Stumble, said Santa, would you be so kind as to help me deliver Christmas presents to all the good people of Greensdale? With a salute and a clumsy nod, Captain Stumble agreed. The adventure began. He experienced being Santa Claus that year, and his ship turned into a Christmas sleigh. The night had draped its dark velvet over Greensdale Island. Captain Stumble tiptoed like a giant cat, leaving presents under every character's Christmas tree. But, oh dear, being clumsy, he dropped the presents and mixed them up like a naughty elf at play. Morning arrived, and the characters of Greenstall woke up to find unexpected gifts under their trees. Confusion and a touch of fury filled the air as they gathered in the square. First up was the queen, fuming with aristocratic indignation. She got a pirate playset, a hat, a blindfold, a plastic sword, and a pirate flag. Not exactly her cup of royal tea. Princess Sophie, the adventurous sailor, unwrapped a set of elegant and heavy aristocratic books on royal etiquette. She stared at them in disbelief. Well, this is not what I signed up for, she chuckled. The proud admiral, Captain Silverhoof, found a guidebook on overcoming fear and being brave. He laughed nervously, knowing he didn't need a bit of courage. Armilla, the strict and grumpy servant, was puzzled. Instead of her formal attire, she found a bright, colorful clown costume. The clash of seriousness with whimsy added a dose of lightheartedness to her irritability. Tuberus Tawado Frog, the mysterious scientist, received an old-fashioned rubber duck instead of his beloved high-tech gadgets. Quack, quack, he said, scratching his head. Lastly, Draga, the baby dragon, got a tiny, cute plush doll. The irony of a fierce dragon receiving a soft and cuddly version of itself brought giggles to the onlookers. The following morning, people gathered in the city's central square, all angry at receiving unrelated gifts and looking for whoever had mixed them up. The queen also sympathized with them. Seeing the chaos unfold, Captain Stumble dashed to Sophie for help. She had a brilliant idea. Suddenly, Sophie arrived and told the townspeople that it was all for fun a chance to experience life differently. The mixed up gifts were an opportunity to walk in someone else's shoes. The queen, wearing the pirate hat, joined Sophie for a sailing adventure. Captain Silverhoof discovered courage in small acts. Armilla, in her clown costume, learned the value of laughter. Empathy bloomed like a field of daisies as they embraced the unexpected gifts. The characters understood each other better and their bonds grew more robust. The once misplaced presence became a delightful lesson in adaptability and understanding. That year, the people of Greenstall experienced the happiest Christmas ever. They had fun with their new habits and laughed a lot. And so, the characters of Greenstall learned that sometimes, the best gifts are the ones that lead to laughter, empathy, and the joy of walking a mile in someone else's shoes. And they all lived happily ever after stumbling through life together in the most delightful way.